I've had some questions about the run capacitors and discharging them when you service the unit. Uh, so anyway, this unit, the only run capacitors in it are for the condenser fan motors. There's two of them. So everything else is three phase. Um, pretty much on run capacitors, especially on any modern unit, um, you're not going to need to discharge those capacitors because uh, when you turn off the power, the wires here on the capacitor still go to the each fan motor. And uh, basically, in between these two, the run winding and start winding, if you want to call it that, the two windings in the motor are in series, just basically across the, it's like having about a 150 ohm resistor across the two, it'll discharge the run cap in a matter of a couple seconds. Turn the motors on. I have the wires to come on immediately. Read the voltage across the run cap. About 397 volts. Okay, it's been a few seconds. Watch it, see if it moves when I connect this. Nothing. Likewise, I'll run it again. Within a few seconds time, the screwdriver across the terminal. Nothing. Basically, uh, maybe I'll show in a little schematic. There's a those capacitors are discharged through the motor run windings. The only way that you'll ever find a run capacitor with a voltage left in it is if uh, a wire or a winding burnt up while the unit was running, basically uh, disconnecting one of the leads while it's running and uh, there's going to be some voltage left in there. Now the voltage charges and discharges 60 times a second. so. Whenever it's disconnected, it, whatever voltage in there will be just random. As the fan motor stays on, but it'll be pulling higher amps. <laughs> it's already turning. Turn the power off. Now we might get something. Like I said, uh, normal operation, unit's working, you're just turning it off to service it. Uh, if you want, you can come in here and put the screwdriver across these capacitors if you're just scared or whatever. <laughs> but uh, generally you don't need to do that just because it's going to be discharged through the motor windings. I've only been shocked once from a run cap in a unit like this. That was because the, the wire burnt open. Uh, fell off the motor while it was running and left the charge in there. Came out to work on the unit, turned off the power, had my hand pulled the leads off the cap or whatever to check it, or, and it got shocked. And, uh, I got over it. <laughs> I still don't discharge the caps when I'm working on them. Especially if the unit's running. It's normal, you know, it's been operating normally. Uh, you're not going to find a charge in the right Check it out. Two capacitors, two run capacitors, wired to the two condenser fan motors. Now I've got this thing wired so that the fan motors are rolling. I'm going to disconnect it on. See, there's over 400 volts across that run capacitor, right? Power off. Screwdriver. Nothing. That is because the uh, fan motors are t tied to both run capacitors, and uh, when you take the power away, the voltage that uh, might be charged up with the capacitors 
is now discharged within a few seconds uh, because the fan motor windings are still uh, between the two terminals. I'm going to show on a schematic. So I've got these two brown wires loose so I can pull them off. Hopefully without shocking myself. Let's see if I can purposely uh, leave a charge on the run cap so you can see what they look like. Voltage left in a run cap to get shocked. The second one. Did you get that? That's the only way to leave any voltage potential left in the run capacitor is to uh, pull off one of the leads while it was running. Other than that, if there's nothing wrong with the fan motor, um, it's not going to be uh, not going to be any voltage because it's going to discharge through the motor windings as soon as you uh, disconnect power from the unit. So, by the time you flip off a disconnect and take a few steps and walk over here to start working on things, there's not going to be any voltage left in those wind capacitors. They're going to discharge themselves through the motor windings of the motor if they're required to. On single phase compressors, which I don't see very many anymore, um, they be the same way. They will discharge the run capacitor through the windings of the compressor that's still tied between the two terminals on the the fan motor. Fan one of the top fan, condenser fan motors. There is a, when the wires come in, there's basically a L2, L1, so you have your regular run winding. The very simplified diagram here. Because there's a lot of windings inside a motor, four poles, six poles, whatever. But if you read with a meter, you pretty much just read it as one winding. So you got L1, L2, and there's an uh, L1 has a common terminal in there going to the two sets of windings. So one set has the 460 volts applied to it at all times, and then uh, there's a, this other wire going to the run cap ties to it. The second set goes down to the run capacitor. So basically, to get power to the second set, um, L1 is tied to it, and then uh, power goes through. The capacitor controls the current and also shifts the phase before it goes to the start winding. So when you take power away here, um, the capacitor, whatever voltage there is in it, will be discharged in series through the start winding, through the run winding, and back to the other leg of the capacitor. So basically when you pull the power it just leaves uh, those two uh, windings in series and uh, they will discharge the capacitor in a matter of seconds. Just like having a couple hundred ohm resistor across there, it will discharge it. So That's why you don't need to uh, discharge the capacitor on your typical unit because uh, that's how they're all wired. The only uh, time you're going to find uh, the capacitor is charged as if one of these windings burned up while it was running and left the charge on there. That's rare. I've had that happen and shock me once in 10 years. So if you want to uh, throw a screwdriver across the terminals on every unit, and if you pull the power, you can do it. It's not going to hurt anything. But generally speaking, um, the capacitor is not going to have anything in there, and you're not going to, you know, it doesn't need to be discharged that way. What the bloody hell was that?